Hi everyone, my name is Alicia and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I've got a really really exciting tutorial for you guys that comes in three parts. Today we are making our very own crochet version of the Skims like fluffy set. I'm so excited. Once I saw like Kim and Kylie post it, like it looks so soft. I knew that it would be like so great. Um, but they're expensive and I thought Hey, I know what yarn is pretty pretty similar to that so let's try to make it for ourselves so this video comes in three parts the robe the top and the pants so make sure to go watch those today the video is for the pants and we're gonna get into it the only stitches that you really need to know are a half double crochet a single crochet and like a slip stitch but other than that it's really 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 simple um, because we're just doing simple shapes as we walk through it so, without further ado, let's get into the video. So for the pants, you're going to make two very large rectangles that reach from your waist. I want to make mine pretty high-waisted, all the way down to the floor. Um, so the measurement that you're going to need is the biggest part around your thigh. So just measure around that for the thickest part of your thigh and then make a chain based off of that. So for me, I just made a slip knot and I'm going to chain 50. So once you have your chain that is long enough to wrap around the largest part of your thigh, you are going to yarn over, count two from the hook, insert your hook and make a half double crochet and you are just going to half double crochet all the way down the row until you get to the end we are just doing plain half double crochets row by row by row until you have a long enough piece uh, to reach from your waist or your hips depending on how high-waisted you want it to be um, all the way down to the floor so I'm just going to keep on doing my half double crochets. This is going to take you a while, probably around the same time or a little bit longer than it did for you to take to do the back panel of the robe if you made the robe. Um, so yeah, so once you get to the end of your row, you're going to chain two because it's a half double crochet, flip your work, and then just continue making those regular half double crochets crochet stitches um, as you go down the row. Very very simple. This will make like a straight leg pant. Very similar to the skims ones. So I'm just going to continue doing this. So now you have your two leg panels and this part will probably be way too large for your waist. So as I was editing I realized that I did not explain this at all so you make your two rectangle panels right so you have two big rectangles and then so you've got your rectangle in front your rectangle in the back that you just made so you are attaching them all together so it makes one big loop once you have that together it's going to be like for me it was 100 stitches so it was like really really large it wasn't going to fit around my waist i had like five inches on each side like i had just too much maybe more than five i don't know i like i had too much on each side so what we're doing with the decreases is the leg and like the width that you need around your thigh stays the same but we're just going to pull in the waist so that it fits nicely it makes sense Eventually, I'm sorry that I didn't explain it better once I was like actually doing it. So we are going to attach them together and make some decreases as we go so that it will fit your waist better. So we are going to make a slip knot, put it on our hook, and insert into the corner of both the front and the back piece and make a slip stitch. Now we're only going to work in the front piece and we are going to make a half double crochet decrease. So we, 
we yarn over, insert into the first stitch, start your half double crochet, and then yarn over again, insert. Do the start of another half double crochet, and pull through all of those. Now I'm going to do two stitches, just normal, and then do another half double crochet decrease. And then just two stitches normal. And a half double crochet decrease. And a half double crochet decrease. Two stitches normal. And a half double crochet decrease. So you may need to do your decreases more frequently or infrequently, depending on how much you need to take in at the waist. Um, this I just find takes some trial and error until you get exactly what you want. So I do a decrease and then two regular, but you, need to, you may need to do more or less. Just try to make it consistent so that it isn't bunching weirdly in different spots. So I'm just going to do this until I get to the end of my front panel and then I'll meet you when I get to the end of my front panel. So once you get to the end of your front panel, it should be scrunched in a little bit now. Now you're going to grab your back panel and insert your hook into the front part and the back part and make a slip stitch. Now you're going to flip your work around and then continue that pattern that you did on the front um, with your decreases. So I'm doing a decrease and then two regular half double crochets, a decrease. and two half double crochets until I get back to the front panel again. So now that you've gone around and done your decreases and got to the waist size that you want, um, make sure to try it on, make sure that it still goes over your um, hips when you try it on. And now we are just going to do a couple of regular rows of just half double crochet as you go around. Um, I think that I'm just going to do maybe two or three rows, just going around. And if you noticed at the beginning here, instead of joining it and like starting a new row, I am just going to continue just going over so that there's no like messy seam up the side. It's just really simple. So it's kind of going like a spiral around the waistband. Um, I think I'm just going to do like maybe two or three more rows until I have like the high-waisted waistband that I want. So I'm just going to keep on going, tie off, and then we'll start getting the legs together so that they actually make pants and not just like some split skirt that we have going on right now. Once you have your waistband to the length that you want it to be, um, make sure that you're back at the place that you started. You can notice that by seeing the tail of where you attached. And then you are just going to make a slip stitch. Pull through so that it's nice and flat across the top. Chain one, pull up a little bit. Snip and tie off. And now we're going to get those legs together. So I'm going to get you to put on your pants and make some marks. So we're going to put on our pants like this with the slit in the front. 
and we're going to take a stitch marker. I'm using a paper clip and reach around and grab the two sides that just go like right underneath your crotch and then take your stitch marker or paper clip like me and just mark where that is in the front and in the back. And so now you have these marks for where you need to sew it up. So then it, when it comes together, it will be like a pant leg. So I have my pants laid out like this, folded perfectly in half. And there's my paper clip, my stitch marker. And now we're just going to sew all the way up here up until the stitch marker. So I'm making a slip knot putting it on my hook, lining up my two ends here so that they are perfectly lined up, inserting my hook and making a slip stitch. So once that's through there, just pull like that. And now we are just going to go up the side with a single crochet. So we insert our hook, pull one through, and then pull through those two loops. Insert your hook, pull one through, pull through those two loops. Try to keep it even, and you're going through the front and the back. And do your very best to keep everything lined up. When you're doing this, try not to stretch too far because that will make bunching. And just go down with single crochets all the way up until you get to your paper clip or your stitch marker. Okay, so I've gotten up to my paper clip. This is my last stitch with the paper clip. And now we're getting to a little bit of a tricky part. Okay, so see how we have our two pant legs? Now we're going to lie these two flat next to each other and grab only the front piece of the opposite pant leg. Make sure that it's laid out flat. You don't want it to be wonky or like warped or anything. Um, so I'm just triple checking that it's all good. So I'm taking just the front piece of the pant leg that you were just working on and just the front piece of the opposite pant leg. Lining them up, kissing the seams together. And now I'm going to start doing single crochets in the, both this piece and this piece. And I'm doing these single crochets all the way up to the waistband. So just give me a second while I do that. And now that I've gotten to the waistband, I can just chain one, pull up a little bit, and snip off. And tie off. Now, we're going to flip over our work. So now we're looking at the back side of the pants. And we are going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to fold over our pants, so all the way up the side. And then once we get to our marked spot where we have like our crotch, 
then we're just going to pick up the front piece here and the front piece here and sew up to the waistband there. So exact same thing that we did on the front, just flip it and then you'll be done. Thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. If you make anything that I've shown you in this video, I would love to see it. Make sure to check me out on Instagram or TikTok. I love seeing your comments, your DMs, your messages, everything. Like, it means a lot to me, so thank you so much. All right, bye.